Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited. Excited because the future that lies before us is a promising one. It is characterized by change as the only constant. We have been inspired by the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to be number one in the world. The telecom sector is still one of the best industries in which we invest, but we have some challenges. Traditional communication service providers are seeing declining revenues. At the same time, the demand for their services is skyrocketing. The old world of voice calls is actually being abandoned. And what we're debating is the model that's going to replace that. Now is the time for leadership, I believe. So you're all leaders. You're welcome. Having leadership in this case is the keep moving forward as rapidly as you can to bring more and more value to the end customer and bring more and more customers into the market. It's our responsibility as network investors and operators to ensure that these investments are profitable so that investment can keep pace with the public demand for, for broadband services. The telecommunication as such is a shrinking market but is a strong enabler for a variety of businesses out there. The light bulb was not invented by the candle industry. The, the light bulb for telecom is being made now and if we are not part of the change, we will be eaten by the change. What brought us here will not really keep us here. But at the same time, we need to celebrate and understand what this industry has achieved, which is quite remarkable. I mean, just four years ago, there were four billion mobile users in the world. Now we're up to 6.3 billion mobile users. Change has never been this slow. In this sector, starting from now, things will just move quicker. In 2015, there will be every minute on the internet video that will take us five years to watch. If you think about the shifts in the world and, and how we're going to cope with these problems, technology is the key enabler for a lot of solutions. We are now on the road to dramatically improve the mobile internet experiences. IT will continue its efforts for a better life of the whole human beings assisted by 4G mobile technologies. We now have the means to eradicate poverty combat climate change, predict disasters, and provide timely primary health care. This empowering medium as a medium through which nations can leapfrog from the Industrial Revolution uh, to a new era. There are you know, tremendous opportunities in software development, in device assembly, in broadcasting, and so our vision is to increase the contribution of ICTs to, uh, to GDP. It's the way forward for sure. Thank you very much. I think I need to stand for this. The major challenge, I think, remains the digital divide. There are still differences in terms of accessibility and affordability, and we need to close that gap uh, for us to, to move fast uh, where we want to go. The use of innovative satellite technology will offer coverage of all the emerging regions of the world. So wherever terrestrial infrastructure will connect the unconnected, this satellite solution will go to the next region. Infrastructure is one thing. Next thing now is the content. We have decided to be more serious, involved in development of local applications. E-education, e-health, e-government, e, 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 and e enough. The enormous potential goes along with some risks. Who is evaluating with whom I make my telephone calls, in what restaurants am I eating, what kind of books am I buying? What the ICT leadership today is not doing is going out and talk about the dilemmas, going out and talk about the risk. We need to protect our users. We, don't, we need to protect, it's our job to protect computer systems against 
any type of the malware. This is a, one of the most important problems that we don't have the true and easy to understand definition what's that cyber weapon. When I walked through the exhibition hall, my attention was immediately drawn to the diversity of the exhibitors. It gave me this feeling of satisfaction that ITU is a truly all-inclusive organization that has over the years managed to rouse the enthusiasm of the developed and developing countries alike. Confrontation of minds to uh, get things happening is, is really extraordinary and uh, I, I think this is a great event. One place, one conversation about something that we're all sharing and that is technology and how we're going to move forward to both lower cost and increase access. <laughs>